Hello everyone. In this video we will see how to top student study. This video is brought to you by the question response channel. I thank Rishabh Maheshwari, Kale Haider, Christopher Blum and Peng Peng Zheng for answering this question. We'll start with Rishabh Maheshwari's first answer. I have a brother who is currently studying in IIT Bombay. He scored 2400 rank in G advanced and 99 percentile in G main exam. He also scored 95% in 12th boards and 10 CGPA in 10th standard. He got many achievements in the education sector. One day I asked him how come you so opposite of me? XD means how you are so good at studying. He said, I don't consider myself to be intelligent than others. I never compare myself to others. I just compete with myself. I am below average but I know one thing from the time of G preparation days. Even if I don't understand a concept today, I will practice it again and again so that tomorrow there is no one better at it than me. We continue with Kale Hyder's answer. While there is no perfect formula for everyone, I want to share my study techniques that have allowed me to excel through high school and will hopefully continue to help me as a student at Hopkins. Top students practice self-discipline instead of relying on motivation. I've touched on this quite a bit in my previous answers, but the gist is if we wait until we feel motivated to complete an assignment, we will have wasted precious time putting it off and also added unnecessary stress. Instead, we need to schedule out or write down when we will be completing this assignment, whether we want to or not. This leads me to my next point. Top students stay organized. I carry a planner where I write down my schedule for the day and any new homework that I receive. I've written out important dates, like exams and essay due dates, on a large calendar in my room so that no assignment sneaks up on me. Knowing exactly what needs to be done allows me to be uber productive and never be surprised by an assignment or exam. Top students actively review. A student who passively reviews will spend several hours rereading notes or the textbook and probably score worse than the student who actively reviews for half the time. Here are two different ways I actively review. For quantitative subjects like calculus and chemistry, I do as many problems as I can, and while I'm doing them, I explain my steps out loud like I'm teaching a class. For subjects like anatomy in my introductory neuroscience class that require memorization, I use a program called Anki, which is basically a flashcard app. On one side of the flashcard, I'll ask, from which two sources does the NS receive blood? I'll ponder, and then answer from the left and right internal carotid and vertebral arteries. Actively reviewing and retrieving information helps you to internalize the material much better than passively rereading and or highlighting. Top students use spaced repetition. Instead of cramming and forgetting everything two days after the exam, I use spaced repetition where I review the material almost every day. Anki is very beneficial for this process, and after the fourth or fifth time seeing it, I will have internalized the material so well that it will stick with me. Don't cram. Study a little every day. Top students use external sources to aid them. Who cares if your professor didn't explain the material well enough? It's up to you to stop complaining and figure it out. If I don't understand the material, I first go to YouTube or Khan Academy and see if that can help me. If not, I call a friend. If that doesn't work either, which rarely happens, I go to my professor's office hours. You have to be proactive. Top students have a purpose. The majority of top students have a purpose. For me, I want to advance the field of paralysis and aid in finding a cure. Without that purpose, I doubt I would try as hard or care as much. If you find your purpose, you can do anything. I hope this lengthy answer was somewhat beneficial in any way. Comment below with your study techniques. I'm always looking for ways to improve. KH. The next answer is from Christopher Blum. Yes, there is. Consider taking a look at language tool. Besides French, it also supports Spanish, Dutch, German and English. Language tool not only offers advanced spelling and grammar suggestions, but also catches punctuation and style issues. Online grammar, style and spell checker. Integrates with your favorite office program get the best out of your docs and deliver error-free results. No matter whether you're working on a dissertation, an essay, or a book, or you just want to note down something. Language tools grammar check for open office requires Java 8. Currently not available for the premium version. Problems installing it. Look here for help. Troubleshooting. The following answer is from Peng Peng Zheng. The top student of the Cambridge A level of the entire nation of my cohort used to rent a room in my house. He is probably the international top student as well since the Cambridge system is international. The first day he arrived at my house, his reputation already preceded him. My father sat him down over tea and made a pact with him. I value my own child's education greatly and I respect that he has a motivated friend like you. My dad solemnly expressed, taking a breath and continued, study with and coach Peng Peng every day and I do not intend to charge you a single dime of rent. So it began, living under the same roof. I soon discovered that many girls have set their eyes on this promising student. He would remorselessly reject their advances if their dating requests would cost anything more than half an hour of his study time. He used to wake up around 8 a.m. in the morning and studied until 9 p.m. at night. Between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., he woke up for a short period to revise over everything he learned the previous day. I was instructed to follow his schedule. 
Two months into his lifestyle, my immune system began to weaken. Coupled with the fact that I was underweight, I caught fever twice during this short span. There was simply no way my health could keep up with his. Seeing that his plan did not work out for me, I decided to sleep at 9 p.m. every night to rebuild my resistance towards the elements. One night, he came knocking on my door. Why, why have you betrayed me? He muttered gently but looked as if he was about to cry. I thought we were supposed to study together. Why have you forsaken me? That night, I learned that the would-be international top student really cared about me. He treated me like how he treated himself, but I unfortunately did not have the aesthetics to maintain that kind of academic burnout. Eventually, the eight-level examinations came and he impressed all of us by becoming the national champion. I was an above-average student of the cohort. I was perfectly satisfied with my results because he made me realize what unwilling sacrifices I needed to be like him. Today, we both kept the promise we made to each other to continue to pursue science and are STEM PhD students in our own fields. Photo taken years before I transitioned. He is the one who looks healthier, obviously. With this life experience, I would like to disagree with many of the other Quora answers to this question. The top student title is always there for you to grab. However, how much are you willing to sacrifice? In my case, it would have been my health, or even my life, which I wisely chose no. The choice is always yours. This is the end of the video, thank you for staying until the end. Thank you for watching this video, if you like it more, you can subscribe and leave a like on this video. We are coming to the end of this video, you can continue the debate on this question in the comments with the community. See you soon.